Welcome back to the Olive Oil Critic. I am so glad that you're here with me today to dive into more delicious olive oils from branch to bottle. Today we are going to taste a beautiful oil, at least I think it will be, um, from Laconico. Laconico is a great farm in the south of the Peloponnese in Greece. So this is a beautiful Greek um, corniki, and the farm is run, it's fourth generation, run by three brothers. They have a production facility in Virginia, and then have um, their groves in Greece. And again, um, fourth generation, these trees are old, and they have a story to tell. And I love that it's family. Um, of course, many olive groves are family based, but one of the unique things about olives, so many people say um, parents plant the vineyard for the kids and the olive grove for the grandkids because it takes so long for the olive groves to become established. And we just don't have that foresight in North America. We're not thinking about things for our grandkids or our great grandkids. We're thinking about now and um, What's right in front of us is, is our foresight. And so I love it when there is, you know, fourth generation and fifth generation family farms and the trees are so old and they have all of that history and story to tell. And uh, these brothers definitely have embodied um, their family traditions and their love of olive oil and bottled it up in a delicious bottle for us to try today. All right, so Koroniki, of course, is the traditional olive of Greece. Um, we always associate it with Kalamata olive oil um, or Kalamata olives, and that's typically the eating olive of Greece. And Koroniki is the, the oil olive. It's small, very similar to Arbikina in shape and size. It's, it's quite tiny. Um, big pit, high yield, um, full packed with oil and not a great table olive um, variety at all. So well, let's see what this beautiful Koroniki smells and tastes like. Mmm, lots of banana, green banana right off the bat, which is a classic Koroniki taste. So it's nice to um, experience it so presently right off the bat. Lots of grass as well, super green and uh, almost a citrusy note on the nose. It's juicy, but it's a fresh fruit juice, so that makes sense. Mm. Mm, some green almond in the center, lots of banana, but green, almost like an unripe banana. So it's got those like tannic qualities. It's beautifully round, lots of um, fresh cut grass, even in the center of the taste. And uh, yeah, super green, delightful. nice peppery finish on the back of your palate. It takes a while for it to show up. Um, it's lingering in, in that it takes a while for it to, to arrive and then it just grows and grows and grows, but it's beautiful black pepper um, and bright on the back of the palate. Lots to enjoy here. Mm. Mm. This oil would just be delightful with um, like baked feta. I'd love to take some fresh tomatoes, onions, garlic, um, fresh oregano, classic Greek, Greek flavors, and then put that on some feta, douse it in this oil and bake it in the oven, mop it up with some pita or some fresh baguette. That oh, would be so tasty. Um, this oil would be delightful um, for roasted veg vegetables. I would love it with like roasted beets or carrots, a sweet potato, yams, um, even turnip would be really tasty with this oil because it's got those sweet banana notes. It's got those sweet almond notes, but it still has that vegetal component to it. Those herbaceous notes on the sides of your palate. I find there's some lemon thyme. Like again, those citrus notes are coming through. So you've got some lemon thyme, some rosemary. Um, and then again, that tart black pepper on the back of your palate lingering down the back is, um, yeah, it would be beautiful for roasted, roasted veggies. Um, I could even see like a honey, honey and mustard um, sauce made with this oil and then drizzled on the vegetables and roasted in the oven would be so good. Um, again, baked feta, the tan, like the, the bright um, salty notes of the feta would complement this oil really, really well. Um, definitely lots here. So much to taste and enjoy.
a lot of love went into this bottle. You can tell that it's handcrafted and they've taken their time to try and make something really beautiful. It is well balanced, definite harmony here from very front to very back. It's well balanced all the way through. Not overly bitter, which I kind of love. There's lots of those herbaceous qualities, but it's not super, super bitter, um, which again, that's way Corniki tastes and it's great to see an example of it so well in this um, laconical olive oil. Um, well, that's it for today. And uh, thank you for sharing a few moments with me as I tasted and enjoyed this delicious, delightful olive oil. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.